kind of line dancing like that. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> oh well. That's how it's going to be this morning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just waiting for my mobile dashboard to show up and then I will uh, switch over and actually start Final Fantasy 3, which is what we're playing this morning. If you're like, Francisco, you sound like you have something in your mouth. It's a cough drop. So I don't cough all over you. Aren't I courteous? No, don't do your demo mode. Okay, so that says I'm live. So we'll go ahead and start uh, Final Fantasy 3. Get ready for some talking. Is there it is. Final Fantasy 3. By the way, welcome retro lovers and rewinders. If you are looking to make new friends who love video games from the 16-bit era, the high-bit era, and who love movies from the 80s and 90s, then this is the stream for you. I am Francisco, and today we're going to be starting to play Final Fantasy III. I've never played this before. Uh, well, I did preview a little bit at the end of my Castlevania IV stream. Uh, but i uh, really looking forward to playing through this game in total. I, I remember uh, wishing I could have played it as a kid. I still remember um, EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly, doing this whole big feature on it. But I never got, we never picked it up, never rented it. So I never got to play it, even though it looked amazing. So I'm really glad I get to finally play it some 20 years later? 25 years later, something like that. Kind of nuts. Anyway. So now I'm not sure. Is it going to do more story? I think so. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to scorched wasteland and magic simply ceased to exist. I'll probably just narrate in my own voice. Mm -mm. A thousand years have passed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. That high technological gunpowder. How about circuit boards? But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. In steel pyramids, Blade Runner style. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Possibly. I don't know how, how much I'm going to be able to keep consistent voices through these characters that are coming up. <coughs> <coughs> but we'll try. <coughs> hey, Nathan James Norman. This is my favorite game. Oh, awesome. There's the town. Yeah, this is my first time playing Nathan. I'm glad you're here, by the way. Good morning. Hard to believe an Espa has been found intact there. A thousand years of something, something. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? I heard she fired 50 of our Magtech armored soldiers in under three minutes. Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of her conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. By the way, if you follow the podcast, um, Nathan James Norman here in the chat is the one who's doing the sort of beginning and ending narrations for it. <coughs> and um, it's really adding a great touch to our little uh, 
audio drama bits that we're doing. So thank you so much, Nathan. So, Nathan James Norman, uh, why is this your favorite game? Oh, oh, I'll, I'll be quiet. Since it's the best music ever, I'll be quiet. It is rather pleasing to listen to, for sure. Story and music. Okay, cool. Ooh, I see fires on the verge over there in the canyon. I wonder what those are. This makes this is making me wonder, what would a uh, like they mentioned like gunpowder and some other high technology before in the intro, and it makes me makes me wonder, and maybe you would be familiar if there's any um, graphic novels or books that have um, sort of do an alternate history where like uh, the circuit or transistor was never invented, and we're having to do all these all these technologies with like vacuum tubes and. <clears throat> Like things that sort of are sort of like a computer, but not really. Uh, like essentially what the world would be like if the computer wasn't invented. Oh, okay. So that was the start. I guess that was the end. I thought I was going to go into the story, but okay. We'll go. Uh, yes, I got... Oh, don't make me... <laughs> Apparently I didn't hit start soon enough. So now we're going to see the intro again. Okay, well here, a steam engines, yes. Iron gunpowder steam engines. So those are the high technologies. <clears throat> but it's amazing, because I, I mentioned that because it's amazing they're able to make mech suits without any sort of uh, computer on, uh, assist. Okay, come on. I'm smashing all the buttons, guys. It's not working. Oh, gosh. Turn myself down a little bit so I don't peek. <clears throat> yes, it is likely. So let me, uh, let me move forward with plane, please. I'd like to do that. Plane, plane, plane. Pressing buttons. Pressing buttons. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, are you gonna... Can I press the buttons? No, still nothing. There's the town. <coughs> Hard to believe, and this was been found intact in a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of the... And this woman, the sorcerer, why is she here? I heard you fired 50 of our magic armor soldiers in under 30 minutes. Oh, wait, that, that is Vix's voice. Whoops. <laughs> Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of conscious thought. She'll follow orders. <clears throat> Fantastic. We'll approach from the east. Move out. All right, let's go. Can I actually... Let's start now. Hopefully, let's go. Let's do this thing. Okay. Uh, 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 can I start now? Yes. I can finally play the game. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any rest. Forward. Alright. I'm on point, apparently. Or this girl is. <coughs> Imperial magic armor. Not even Narshi's safe anymore. Here we go. Battling time. Sure, Magitek. Fire beam. Go. Magitek. Ice beam. Go. Magitek. 
Exfer or whatever that is. There. Oh, he's gone now. So when I played a preview of this before, this these opening levels, I mean, I guess it's just to give you a sense of probably for people that have never played RPGs before, or this might have been a new system for Final Fantasy 3. I'm not really sure. Uh, but probably, I guess it's probably just to give you a sense of how to play this battle system because these these fights are pretty easy. Narshi's freedom depends on us. I wonder who Narshi is. <clears throat> oh, get those lobos, wherever they are. Why are they called lobos? Why aren't they called wolves? Because obviously that's what they are. Whatevs. Did I do healing force? Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. So it seems like the other two are using magic, unless those are things that are part of their mech suits. So I'm not sure why she, this this uh, person with the slave crown is is uh, considered a sorcerer <clears throat> or sorceress. I mean, unless the beams are someone from their mech suits. I'm not seeing any cannons on these things, though. So I don't know how that's possible. Come on now. So, funny thing, uh, if you follow me on social media, uh, I do try to do pixel art. And last year, around this time, I was doing, um, what do they call it? Oh, the Star Trek Next Generation characters in a pixel art style. But sort of the sizing and overall caricature structure was based on Final Fantasy III. So, I'm going to... Um, release something like that uh put all those on a picture of the bridge and uh give that to my wife because she's a next gen fan and was wanting something like that i was gonna uh try and make the whole bridge or engineering room or something in pixel art but man that's that's for some reason i i'm only able to do at this point in my pixel art experience, I'm only able to do single characters or icons. A whole backgrounds is still a bit beyond me. We've got him trapped now. Did those wolves just bark at me? I think they did. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So if they're behind me, I guess they get to attack first. I mean, that makes sense. At this point, it seems like it doesn't really matter what I choose. Oh. Uh, everything seems to hit them equally or is as equally good that just one hits them bolt beams so I'm just looking at what looks cooler I guess I'm not sure what the numbers next to their names are is that how much uh, magic points they have maybe oh question mark gained a level oh my goodness Vix gained a level Wedge gained a level God, what? oh a tonic that is awesome. I have no idea what a tonic does, but cool. <clears throat> All right, now what? Oh, oh, the girl's not in charge anymore. That's interesting. What happened? We must defend the mines. Into the mines. <clears throat> oh, whoa. Mammoth. Firebeam you? I'll go fire beam you. Come on. Oh, there we go. It, the control of it wasn't what I was really expecting there. You'd think that go through one and hit both guys. But whatever. I guess it's not that way. Oh, that's HP. Thank you, Nathan James Norman. So Wedge is doing... Oh, no. Question Mark's doing pretty bad. That's no good. Ooh, the, the music actually got into a different uh, part of it. So that was a long battle. Super long. Oh, okay. Here we go. Something's happening. According to our source, the frozen Espa has been found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. 
Do we have to separate for that? I guess. Uh-oh. We're in, we're in the mines. Careful. <clears throat> it's a four-day journey to the other side. An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? Um, mm, sure. At save points, you can use a sleeping bag or tent and also save a game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Though any GP treasures, etc. you found will have to be found again, your level and experience data will be retained. You can save a game anywhere on the world map. Okay, so can I save here? I, I imagine I don't have a tent or anything. Let's see. <clears throat> Items? I just have a tonic. Alright. Uh, relic? I... okay. Okay, apparently I'm not saving. Oh, but I am having a random battle encounter, it looks like. <clears throat> where, where rats? Where rats? But Wesley, what about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Ah! <clears throat> I would hope you would know where that's from, Nathan James Norman. If you don't, I don't know if we can be friends. There. <laughs> there, rats. <laughs> Whatever, I'm easy. <laughs> oh, awesome young Frankenstein reference. I want to go in here, where it's blocked off. Use your use your bolt beams. I'll handle this. Stand back. <clears throat> well, if you have a ramming technology, can we just use that for uh, for these fights that we have? More wear rats, Come, boys. Doesn't seem what no matter what beam you use, just get on. Nathan says, speaking of were creatures, I'm getting re ready to release Untold Podcast's very special werewolf Christmas episode. Is this the one you've been working on with your brother? Episode is done. Just building the post. Oh, awesome. I'm looking forward to listening to that. But why isn't it like a were Christmas tree? That would be really interesting. A Christmas tree that like waits for you to adorn it. Like the the adorning of the Christmas tree is the full moon that makes it be able to animate and uh, transform into this like evil ent sequel there you go free free of charge it is uh, oh the one that where, where you work with your brother cool that's awesome <laughs> <It's>, whoa <laughs> a bit cuckoo there Francisco no I don't know how I'm not sure how to take that Whoa, Maybe it's, whoa, I wish I would have thought of that. We'll go with that. I'm sure that's what it is. We won't hand over Esper. The Esper, where that is. Welk, get him. Uh, that's a Welk, apparently. Hold it. Oh, no. Hold it. Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about the monster that eats lightning? And so the engine energy in the shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, already? Something like that. Or how about I just don't attack with lightning? Maybe that's a thing, guys? I, I know, crazy, crazy talk right there. Unless all these things are considered lightning in some fashion. In which case, okay. <clears throat> oh, why are you using slime on me? Feels so sticky. Well, okay. okay. Um, I don't think the shell's going to do anything to us. What? 
Hey, 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 now. Okay, well, do we just run? Or is that going to keep doing damage or uh, giving it? So, okay. So, I guess we just won't do anything. How about that? We just won't attack because now I have everyone's dead. Heal for us. Can I heal these guys from, from being dead? Don't suppose that will work. Nope. Right. Okay, I'm just going to hang out. I'm not going to attack you, Mr. Shell. <coughs> Grew item. I, oh, it grows back. I think this is one of those battles where you just like have to die. That's why I'm I'm getting that impression. Sort of like uh, in the beginning of Mega Man X, where uh, Vile sort of just you can't win to Vile against Vile. You just have to die, and now you're gone. I, okay, I don't understand what's going on with you. Said so not to use lightning. Maybe lightning's the only thing to use. Like, it said the briefing was wrong. Oh, that healed it. Great. I'm pretty sure that was a healing. Annihilated. Okay, so is this part of the story? Or is this what's supposed to happen? Or is that, did I just actually die? Because I'm, I thought I was all, oh, I'm so good at this, and I'm not actually. So do I, re so I have to restart from the very beginning now? Is that what, what just happened? I think that's just what happened. Great. <laughs> well, that was a bit embarrassing. Hey, look at me, guys. I know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Um, Let's, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to rewind. Uh, let's see. Rewind is X. Oh, I guess the wear rat's fine, yeah. Because as much as I'm sure the beginning is thrilling to watch, um, I don't really want to watch it again right now. I'd rather move on. I wonder if there's some other trick to... And I'd love it if I could save, but I don't have a tent. I wonder if, is there a different way I can go? Man, this is going to be a 30-hour stream. <laughs> I'm not going to play it all right now. It might be a 30-week stream. Yes, I want to save. Let me save. Oh, okay, save. Yes. Did you actually save? Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. Yes, okay. I forget which button actually takes me back and which is like con confirmation. But yeah, this will probably be fairly lengthy, uh, Nathan James Norman. It will definitely take me into 2019. <laughs> By the way, how are your uh, Christmas Christmas uh, festivities? Are you guys all <coughs> decorated? Or are you still... It's just the process of moving into the house, keeping that from happening. <coughs> Excuse me. We won't hand over es the Esper. Fine. How about Wilk? Get them. All right. So. Hold it. Oh, no. Hold it. Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? Okay. Eats lightning. And stores energy in its shell. Oh, right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Okay, well, I wasn't attacking the shell before. So, <clears throat> I don't know what that leaves me with. Yo. Guess we'll try that. Oh, maybe I do the X for whatever that is. Because then that's not magic? I don't know. Heal. Let's heal that guy. What does that do? It missed. Oh my goodness. That's great. So glad it missed. Uh, let's see. And Nathan says, nah, we have a few things up and we'll be 
that'll be it for this year. Yeah, I, I imagine it's really tough with moving and stuff. Oh, it looks like she has more stuff. That's interesting. <clears throat> mega volt. Stop with your mega volting. I don't want to die. No. <clears throat> oh, that did a good amount of damage. No, come on. I just, I just was about to heal her. I'm beginning to think that that report lied to me and that I should actually take out uh, the shell first. But I don't know, maybe not. Come on, come on. Ugh. Okay, well that's not so bad. Gru, oh no, don't do something else to me. Oh, you're going away. Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll use this opportunity to heal myself. I think next time I, I do this, I'm going to start off with healing myself right away. <clears throat> I didn't realize my characters were as low in health as they were. So, live and learn, or die and learn, as it were. Why are you attacking me so hard, man? <clears throat> um, I guess we'll, we'll try Ice Beam again. I don't know why my guy is um, sort of uh, highlighted like he is. I don't, I don't know if that's the slime that they used before. That Wilk used before. I am liking this battle music. It's, in, it's fun. I don't know if it's supposed to be fun, but I'm enjoying it. Like you were saying, Nathan, music in this game is, is really good. Uh, why are you doing that to me? Wah. Okay, heal force. Bum, bum. Yeah, I, I'm... I appreciate that you're not, like, giving away what I should do, Nathan. But if I do say, Nathan, I don't know what to do. Will you help me? Then feel free to help me. It's not like, oh, he doesn't really want help. But, yeah, don't help me yet. I want to see if I can just plow through this Welk thing. So the head doesn't seem to do much to me. It's just that, uh, <clears throat> let's see, um, I guess I'll do the head again. Maybe I just have to keep killing the head? Oh, so maybe that's what happened before, is that the head, I thought I killed the head, but it actually didn't die. It just went inside like that. And so now maybe I just have to keep healing myself until the head comes back out and then I kill the head. So I just wait to kill the head. Maybe that's all it is. Boom. Oh, okay. Ding. I guess I got something right. I have a mute button. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. <clears throat> okay, come on, Vix. I need some vapor rub on me. <clears throat> I'd be curious if all the if the names in the Japanese version are Japanese or if they're the same names. Bum, 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 bum. I hope. I don't know if there's Phoenix Downs in this game, but I sure hope uh, I can uh, get these characters back after this is done. <laughs> you, know, you just have to go around this whole game with one guy. Uh -huh. You're going back in your shell. Why? Why are you being so uh, finicky, Mr. Snail? Why don't you just, like, uh, you know, be nice? Be a nice little snail. <laughs> oh, you're back. Okay. I'm ready to attack you again. We'll do some ice beamage this time. 
once my timer gets up. Ice beam. Die. Come on. Snails, just die this time. Just be dead. Snails don't like the cold. Come on. Come on. No. You're supposed to die. Not disappear. It's interesting how they trick you because it, I'm pretty sure the dying animation is sort of that dithering pixel like fading effect. And so I think with this battle, they use that same effect for him going into a shell rather than anime and him going into a shell. As, so as to trick you, oh yeah, you, you, you got it. So now, oh yeah, I guess you're left with nothing. You just have to wait. But no, it's actually, he just went into a shell. Come out of your shell, Mr. Snail. Or Welk, or whatever your name is. Who named you? The D&D &D monster library nameage thing? I don't know. <laughs> Bolt beam, go! They all seem to do about the same amount of damage. I can't... I can't think if I'd be able to get multiple shots on him if if I had all my guys alive. Bef and that's how you speed through this battle a little quicker. Is you uh, you have your guys give him multiple shots to the head before he retreats. But yeah, I can't remember now. Because it seems like it's taking a bit long for an opening battle. But I mean, you know, we were we had, it was a slower pace back in 1993, I think. My ice beam. There we go. Grew. Yeah, you grew yourself. So while I'm waiting for him to come back, I am going to try to adjust my overlay here so it fits in the window a bit better. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, I think you're going to need uh, the full 40 hours. <laughs> Appreciate that, Nathan. Oh my goodness. What are you talking about? I'm so good at this game. I'm doing amazing. Don't, don't you see how amazing I'm doing? I'm so good at this. No one has ever been better at, at Final Fantasy games than right now. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. <clears throat> Lock that. And, okay, back to this. Oh, uh... It's amazing how the timer, it seems like the timer would be still going for, oh, don't, no, don't do that. You're going to die. Uh, heal force yourself, I guess, since you have infinite of that. I don't know. Okay, now don't go back into your shell, please. Oh, yeah, okay, you're going to do slime. You're going to miss because I'm already slimed. Vinkman style. Most thrilling stream ever. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, Loomis Gallandrandier. Loomis Gallandrandier? Did I get that right? I'm probably going to... Oh, I beat him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I finally beat him. I think the timer pauses while you're in your menu. Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you, Loomis. And how are you? Good morning or good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Welcome to the stream. Right now, uh, this is, if you, I don't know if you've, it's scrolled to it before, but um, below, but uh, there it is. So I'm doing something I'm calling SNES Quest. Good game, thank you. Where I'm trying to beat every game on the Super Nintendo Mini or Classic, whatever you want to call it. And right now, this is my ninth game. I've been eight before, all the ones that are, that are gold in the little overlay. Vaporite. All right, let's try to flame out that vaporite. Oh, yeah. So my guys don't come back? What am I supposed to do now? I thought I was going to get at least one life back or something on him. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. So, yeah, just trying to beat... Uh, just started out Final Fantasy uh, 3. I've never played this before. Uh, 
Except past like the opening scene, the opening uh, like uh, tile screen. Uh, looking for it, and this is one of those games I always wanted to play as a kid, but never was able to. I still remember. Uh, I forget if anyone was online when I mentioned this, but I still remember uh, I was a big Electronic Gaming Monthly a fan back in the day. And uh, I still remember when they did a feature story on this game, I'm thinking, oh, this looks like such an amazing game. Um, but I never got to play it. Loomis says, I think you're mostly not supposed to have your guys die in this tutorial. <laughs> Or you, they're supposed to die so you can uh, realize that you're in for a challenging game and to be careful of snails that you think are dead, but they're actually just disappearing into their shell. This is the frozen Esper. Sing it. Do you hear it? It's a beautiful song. I have to... Oh, oh my guys are back alive? Hey, what's the matter? Do you know we... Do you know something we don't? And then Loomis says, The translation is very up and down for this game, but overall, I think this is one of the best FF games. Oh, it's true. The real lesson of the tutorial is to be careful around snails. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and, and Nathan uh, was also saying that this is his favorite. I, I think either his favorite game or his favorite Final Fantasy game. And I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely enjoying it so far. <clears throat> this Esper looks kind of like a dragon. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. It's hard, kind of hard to tell in the eyes. The girl is saying something. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Ooh. Where's that light coming from? Wah! <clears throat> hey, Wedge, where are you? What What's happening? Da, da, da. Ellipsis, 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 ellipsis. What is happening? Nathan says, favorite game of all time? Wow, that's amazing. But I haven't played much past the SNES era. SNES era, excuse me. I do call it SNES Quest because that rolls off the tongue, but I think we can all we all know it's SNES, not SNES. Though if you do pronounce it SNES, I'd be curious to know and feel free to let me know. <clears throat> oh wait, I'm in I'm okay. Oh, okay, so I'm in control of you now. That's cool. Okay guys, get ready for pretty poor. This is the the girl voice I use when I read my kids' stories. It's pretty much the only girl voice I have. Where am I? Whoa. And I only just removed the crown. Head hurts. Oh, that's cool. She, it's like her getting woozy is when it gets all pixelated. That's an interesting dynamic. Easy. This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. He doesn't look that old. He looks kind of youthful with his blonde hair. Make that stuff gray, please, if, it's, if he's old. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you in time, that is. <clears throat> Loomis says, I've always said, uh, SNES? I think you capitalizing means SNES. As a word rather than, oh, SNES as a word rather than letters. But I'm a Sega guy. What do I? <laughs> That's fair. So if, if this was a 20, 20 to 30 years ago, we'd be at, like, each other's throats, Loomis. No, Super Nintendo's better. No, Sega. Super Nintendo. Sega. Ah. But now, hey, we can just be fellow lovers of retro games. Sega's awesome. Super Nintendo's awesome. I mean, really, us retro lovers have to, have to join together as one against the whelks of the world. Right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Thank you. I think I'm right. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> uh, sometimes I go on odd tirades. And this says, Sonic would kill my own if I... <laughs> Depends on who's playing him in Smash. A Nintendo game. Oh. <laughs> ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. 
<clears throat> a mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with a gift of magic. Um, so I'm not going to name uh, her Palzo since... Uh, let's see, should I name her, name her after my wife? Luma says, ha ha, yeah. Console war is over. Uh, we can... We can be retro brethren now. Yes. Awesome. Um, I mean, I guess Terra's fine. I don't, I don't know. Do you guys have a preference? Being here, I'll let, since you guys are here uh, at the start of this game, if you'd like to, if you both throw out female names, I will combine them into one super female name. So feel free to throw something out. You have 20 seconds to comply. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds to comply. Okay. Ah. Francisco. <laughs> Excuse me. And Lathe. Okay. Well, let's see. It could be Fran Aith or... Le Le Siska. We'll do Le Siska. I think that sounds a little bit better. Um, no, no, go back. Okay. Le S Oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mixing my capitals. Le Siska. Sounds like a sounds like a um, a sparkling water drink. <laughs> Lesiska. Oh come on! I don't have enough letters. Lesisa, Lesisk, Lesis, Les, Lesika, Lesika. Yeah, we could do Lesika. Lesika. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Luma says, so you were saying about how the characters might have different names in Japanese? In Japan, the strange, mysterious girl is called Tara. Oh, okay. So they're similar, but it's it's not the same. I think. <laughs> Thank you for dropping that knowledge, Luma. So awesome. Uh, which sounds super alien and exotic over there, but didn't have quite the same effect for us. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lesika. We're good with that, Lesika. Thank you guys. I, I really love that you helped me name her, name her there. That's awesome. Oh, I, I don't think I've introduced myself. You weren't here when I did introductions, Loomis. My name's Francisco. And so that's why Nathan, I think, was was uh, being silly there with Francisca. My name is Lasica. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Oh no, wolves at the door. And guards, mummy guards. Open up, give us back the girl and the Empire's Magitek armor. Hey Dale, hi Lysika. <laughs> Good morning, Dale. Ah, I see, ha <laughs> ha, says Lewis. Open this door, we want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. Is she, are you sure? Aw, thank you so much for the follow, Loomis. Glad you're here, and I uh, hope you're, we usually stream. Don't normally stream Saturday mornings. It's usually uh, Monday nights and Friday nights, but uh, n n I'm Pacific, U.S. Pacific time, so I don't know what that translates for you, but hopefully you can join us some of those times. If mornings work better for you and I get a consensus, because maybe they work better for Nathan too, maybe I'll start doing just morning streams in general, but... Still, ha still hasn't gotten quite to that point. Anyway, back to the story, Francisco. Come on. Mm. Open this door. We want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. A slave officer, maybe. Yeah, and she makes one heck of a batch of cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where's the? Where are the nom noms? There you go, guys. Uh, Emp 
Vampire? Magitek armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. You're really spry for an old guy, by the way. Over here. I mean, maybe he's only old compared to her. Maybe she's like, I don't know, 12. And so he's like my age, 37. So that could be old. Lumis, I'm in the UK. Oh, okay, so I'm eight hours uh, out from you. It's 1.30 p.m. here. Oh, okay, cool. Well, happy afternoon. Happy afternoon. Uh, I mean, that's what we say here in the uh, United States. Happy afternoon. Happy morning. We don't say good morning or good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Are, are you coming with me? Make your way out through the mines. I've ke I'll keep these brutes occupied. All right. Into the mines. I, oh, okay. I'm like, how do I go? I'm trying to get to the mines, but I can't. She's up there. Emotep. <laughs> Interesting jazz, sort of like subtle jazz, like lounge music going on right now. Well, I'm so glad you could be here uh, now. Yeah, maximum stealth. Yeah, exactly, Loomis. Fight the wrench and the repo man? I'm trying to fight. What, what are you, fight? Okay, oh, oh, fight is, oh, I thought there was another, like, sub a menu to fight, like I was supposed to do something else, but it wasn't letting me, I'm like, come on, yes, I want to fight, let me fight. Cure and fire, um, let's see what fire does, I guess. And she's, oh, that's interesting, she's doing something with her mouth, like she's chanting. That's a cool little bit of animation. <clears throat> I've only very, very, very minorly dabbled with uh, pixel art animation. I've mainly just been doing like still images, uh, but that's that's an interesting way to do to show um, mouth movement, just like that little pixel variation for uh, for talking. I figured since there was no mouths, on, excuse me, on these characters, you wouldn't see really any sort of mouth movement. But they're able to put it in. That's cool. Anything down here? No. All right. Dale says, he wants to report your car. <laughs> Where are at? Does she have, like, um, a knife or a sword? I, I guess I guess she must. Or she has a heck of a, a right hook. R repo your car. Yeah, exactly. That's what they want to do. Oh, nice. Loomis gets the joke, too. Nathan made the same joke earlier, Loomis. I'm glad you're on the same page with us. <laughs> Whatever. I'm easy. <clears throat> Lessica gained a level. Oh, cool. She gained a level. Got 44 GP. Wow. Those were rats are flush with money. Ooh, a save point. Sweet. I will take advantage of the saving. Take advantage of these savings. They can't be beat. Yes, erase that data. Let's see. What do you have, Lasika? Oh, so you do have... Um, you have a, a mithril knife, a buckler, a leather hat, and leather armor. Okay, cool. Uh, what's optimum? Nothing, apparently. Okay. I am, do I have any items? I have a sleeping bag. Oh, I do have a sleeping bag. Uh... Okay, cool. I don't think I need to use that now. Can I see what my life is? What is it? Oh, actually, I'm pretty low. Yeah, let's go ahead and use use those things. Um, we'll use the sleeping bag here. <coughs> um, oh, I want to say use. Use. Oh, okay, yeah. Sleeping bag. Yes, do it. On the Sika. Can't I just pack up the sleeping Roll it back up? Why do you waste it? I didn't know I was wasting sleeping bags. Usually, usually people don't buy disposable sleeping bags. I thought you might, I, I mean, I guess if your high technology is gunpowder, iron, and steam engines, maybe all you have is disposable sleeping bags. But here in 20XX, we got reusable sleeping bags. Oh, watch out. 
Dale says, give them some cheese with lots of decon. <laughs> is decon uh, like a, uh, uh, a vermicide, pesticide, raticide? Poison for rats is what I'm trying to say. Is that what that is? I'm not sure what decon is. Though when you say decon, I think of the Disney convention that happens every so often. Uh, Luma says, Optimum equips... Uh, oh, thank you. Optimum equips every slot with the highest stats. Oh, thank you. Okay. You probably don't have anything it can swap to. Okay, got it. Rat poison, says Dale. Ah, I see. <clears throat> yeah. I'm really... Fr I don't know why that's that's frustrating to me, that you waste sleeping bags, but... Think of the earth. They're worried about magic ruining the earth. What about these sleeping bags just everywhere? Sheesh. <clears throat> Man, they're just taking me out. Luma says, it's what I'm going to pretend. Oh, oh, the sleeping bag has a powerful... Has a powerful one-use magic crystal that stops enemies from eating you in your sleep. That seems to fly. I'll, I'll go with that. All right. Fair enough. Because, yeah, you'd think in a cave where there's random guys attacking you that that would be an issue. So, all right. We'll, we'll go with that. Dale says, I think you're referring to D23. Well, okay. Oh, no, no. That's what it is. You're you're right. D23 is the Disney convention. There's another convention called Designer Con, which people say D-Con for. That actually just happened in Anaheim uh, this past November, I think. I think the week before Thanksgiving. I can't believe it's already been a month since Thanksgiving. When did that happen, guys? Sheesh. <clears throat> Time is flying. Okay, what's up here? Ah, uh, treasure box. Woot. Received Phoenix down. Nice. So now I can... I do know what that is. I have played... Of the Final Fantasy games I've played... Right next to the box. Sheesh. Bum, bum. Man, they are like taking me out. <laughs> if you can, apparently, I can't dodge a ball because I'm having trouble dodging wrenches. I'm glad they're kind of weak. That, that would uh, not be great if they were really high powered. Does Let's see. Does it take place in your home state? <clears throat> no, that takes place in Oregon. But there have been some people that listen to the pod that have actually been on the podcast that are down down in California. I mean, Paul's down in California, but uh, other people who I listen to their podcast <coughs> called the Squared Co Podcast, and um, which is very like illustrate like designer graphic arts focused, and so when. Decon comes up, they talk about. Yes, I got one of those magic magic crystal sleeping bags. Amazing. Uh, but no, up here in Oregon, uh, we do not have a decon, as far as I know. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I was saying my Final Fantasy games I played. Uh, I have played. I thought I was supposed to. I thought I one hitted you before. I guess not. I played Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I didn't play it when it was on PlayStation. I played it when it came out to PC. And I only. I remember I never beat it. I got about. Probably about halfway through. I got to the point where you get to the Red 13 character, that little, like, lion dog mutant thing. Uh. But after I got him, I, I forget why I stopped playing after him. Because I really like that character. Regardless, I stopped playing after that. Uh, the other Final Fantasy game I played isn't technically a Final Fantasy game. Uh, and if you've ever heard of the Final Fantasy Legends games on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, apparently, you guys probably know this, but in case you don't, it was in Japan, it was called Saga. But over here in the U.S., since they want, I guess they want to have some sort of, um, some name recognition, they relabeled it Final Fantasy Legends, but it's quite different in that, it's like, you could, you, you had different uh, races of characters you could use, as opposed to different classes, and uh, I think it was the mutant class 
would actually uh, change who like their their abilities and what they were based on the the enemy meat you would consume like like if you took out a were rat for instance you'd get were rat meat and you could eat it and turn into something else <clears throat> let's see uh dale says now you don't have to sleep on the dirt no more yeah i i, I only had one sleeping bag left now i have two i'm good to go luma says seven is most people's favorite you should give it another go sometime i don't have it anymore but if i did i probably would um but like like I had said before, right now, the pretty much the only time I have to game is when I stream, and I'm trying to beat every game on the SNES Super Nintendo Classic. So it's going to be quite some time before I play other things. I did actually start playing a game called um, Limbo, which I don't know if you you guys may have heard of it. It's this black and white game where you're the character of this this boy that has white eyes. It's, it's a very unique art style, very very cool. And you're essentially just trying to, all you can do is move and jump. And you're trying to solve puzzles and get through the terrain of this very strange, creepy world. But I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So that's the only other like, modern game I've played recently. Uh, let's see. Nathan says, oh, yeah, I love the Game Boy game. Oh, yeah, I, I, we had Final Fantasy Legends 2. I, I never beat that one. But I remember thinking, this is really an interesting this is really cool how you could change your characters based on uh, eating things. Sort of like a pre-Pokemon type mentality. Let's see, Dale said, second Final Fantasy. Not final, but second Final <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the joke of Final Fantasy games. They're never really the final one. <clears throat> Dale says, went that low, eh? Went that low. Not sure what you mean, uh, Dale. We'll go with Yes? And then, gotta! Ah, uh, ah, uh, run! Oh no! I'm trapped! Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa! I fell through the floor! Gotta got watch out for that. And since apparently she survives really quickly, she must have like a Wolverine healing factor or something. Oh no, but she is woozy. Oh, oh okay, never mind. Okay, I, I really like how they're. how they evoke with the visuals that she's like. Uh, sick or about to faint or something. My sweet little magic user. Wee hee hee. With this slave crown, I practically own you. Okay, so he's the bad guy. I thought it was like her dad or something at first. No, it's the bad guy. Loomis says, Suppos supposedly, the first Final Fantasy was planned to be the last game the company made before closing down. Oh, but it made them an unexpected fortune. Okay. Uh, Dale says, Limbo, how can you, how low can you, oh, oh, I see, thank you. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Oh, man, she's just been using, wee hee hee, good. Burn up everything. Th this will be the voice I use for him. I think it's a him. Maybe it's a her. Sure, the smiling. <laughs> My name is Kiffy. Um, just all. We stand on the brink of major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness a total revival of magic. It is our destiny and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestar! Oh, that, that the, the people. Wait, I, I thought I thought his name was something else. I'm confused. I thought his name was Kevivivi or something. Did I totally... Was it just Gestar and I, I misread it? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, the old man found me again. That was lucky. Took it you l long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? <clears throat> ah! Treasure hunter and trail worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. Oh. We'll name this guy Paulzo. <clears throat> Lumi says, Oh, Kefka and 
Gestal are two different people. Okay, so I'm glad I voiced them differently. <coughs> Excuse me, I should have muted that. Okay, so it was, thank you. I was like, sort of the way they are presenting it, I kind of got confused that it might have been the same person. Thank you, though, Loomis. All right, Paul, you're going to be here with us in spirit. I, I mentioned them before, but uh, the podcast, I do have, the main thing Retro Rewind is, is a podcast, as you see there, right right down there, RetroRewindPodcast.com. Uh, and we, we uh, review movies that are 15 years, movies and some video games that are 15 years or older. So if, if you enjoy stuff like this, the, the podcast isn't really quite like the stream. It's more actually like talking through what we like and don't like about these movies and games of the past. But if that sounds uh, appealing to you, Loomis, I uh, would check it out. We have over 160 episodes. I will warn you that the past uh, four have sort of an ongoing drama leading up to something uh, coming up in the new year. So uh, that's not normal for the podcast. Uh, but in case you want to start with either uh, episode 160 through 164, um, expect that. <clears throat> okay, Paulzo. So in most of these games now, I've been calling the character, the main character Paulzo. So that's because Paul is my sort of co-pilot on the podcast. So it's just a fun way to have him be here in spirit. <clears throat> I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! Huh. Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. This is my Paul impression. It's kind of not great. <laughs> anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, that's a girl I'd like you to meet. Huh? This better not have anything to do with that Magitech writing Imperial Witch. Imperial troops are pursuing her, even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. Uh, Dale says, you and Paul fight like Siskel and Ebert on the first four. <laughs> on the first four episodes of the podcast? I haven't listened to them in a while. I, would, I could see that, though. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to the under to understand our dilemma. All right. I think we'd better help her. Loomis says, No, listen. I think that magic tech Ryan Imperial Witch is really your type. <laughs> That's all awesome, Loomis. Dale says, First you got first you got rescue her on her you or her you. First you got to rescue her or her you. Yes. Rescue you from your hardened heart against the the Empire. Agreed. Make your way first to Figaro Figaro something and talk to the king. Alright. Oh, and is she waking up now? Or is she captured? Oh, I thought you had to go to Figaro. Okay. Oh no. Imhotep. Imhotep. Now we gotcha. Oh crap. Look at all those lichens. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Koopa. <clears throat> Cobal, Cobal, Cobal. Moguls, are you saying what you you want to help me? Mogul, 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 Cobal, Cobal, Cobal. Let's see. I don't know why there's mod. Figaro, 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 <laughs> Figaro, 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 Figaro. I don't know why that was uh, modded, uh, Loomis. Twitch is very silly with its modding. So, so to keep track, it doesn't like the word theologian. 
that doesn't like Figaro, 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 Figaro. Oh, I'm pronouncing it wrong. It is Figaro, Figaro. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying Figaro. I mean, though, I'm the one who pronounced it, who thought Legolas was, uh, was Legolas. <laughs> I mean, that makes more sense, right? Why are you at a loss for Legos? It should be Legolas, not Legolas, but whatever. Whatever. Now, let's see. Dale says, be like Flash Gordon. Flash goes to rescue Dale, but Dale ends up rescuing Flash. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. I've never seen Flash Gordon. I started watching Buckaroo Banzai through the 8th Dimension and Adventures Through the 8th Dimension. But it was so quirky. It was... I mean, I can I can take quirky things, and generally I'm pretty good with quirkiness, but that was really quirky. I didn't get all the way through. I'm I am gonna go back and try to finish it, but man, that was quirky. Uh, Nathan says, Francisco, pro tip, pro tip on reading women: try not to falsetto, just lighten your voice. Try to talk just a hint higher than your normal speaking voice. Yeah, but she's a girl. I would imagine she's actually like a young girl. So women, I could see that, uh, Nathan, but. For girls, would you say the same advice? <clears throat> By the way, check out untoldpodcast.com. <coughs> or I think you may have to search The Untold Podcast in like iTunes or your podcatchers. But uh, Nathan does uh, speculative Christian fiction and narrates that, and he does an awesome job. So if, that, if that's your jam, check out untoldpodcast.com. Anyway, yes, you still say do that okay we'll we'll do the best what about for uh, mogul creatures nathan what's your tip what's your pro tips for them <clears throat> oh thank you for putting the link in there you go mogul 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 translation use us to save lasika from the gods um sure you'll fight using three different groups press the y button to switch between us oh okay your job is to defeat the commander of the gods before his men reach the Sika. Save her, or else. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to do that. Oh, so do I... I need to, like, put you at different points? Uh, no, no, go back. I, I wanted to switch. <clears throat> so I'm, like, trying to... Try, oh, oh, there's a guy up here. Okay, so there's... There's one. Okay, what? Oh, okay. So essentially, I'm 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 stop gapping or um, not stop gapping, choke pointing. I'm choke pointing these guys. Here, I'll read text here when I'm done with this fight, guys. Okay. Oh, and I, apparently I have to get the choke point. So let me. Get, oh, this. I, oh no, it won't go on. I have to keep going. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Nathan says, we just released our Christmas episode. A pack of werewolves plot to take down Santa. That sounds that sounds very interesting and fun. But I, I'm telling you, Nathan, next year, uh, wear Christmas tree. We Got to do that wear Christmas tree. Uh, Nathan, moguls are go falsetto. Okay. There we go. We'll do that. Dale, mean, we're, mean wolves. Just be the reindeer. Must be the reindeer. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. I'm glad mastered a new dance. They have dances. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> I keep doing the wrong one. I want no, no. Go back. Go back. I want Y to change guys. Yeah, you. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Got another guy. Fight the mammoths. Kill them. Kill them all. No, no, no. Go. Not that. Okay, that that works too. That's fine. I'll take that. Oh, the music changed. That's interesting. Okay. There we go. Choke point up here. Okay, I think I got all the choke points covered now. So now I just wait for them to come to me. <clears throat> See, I, I guess they don't know. <laughs> I've watched 300. I know how choke points work. What are you doing to me right now? That's not okay. You can't do that. You gotta be, you gotta be nice, Mr. Mammoth. Look at look at these cute little moguls. You don't want you don't, why why I hurt them. Let's let's why don't you team up with us? Uh, I know Rudolph would be a problem. 
I knew Rudolph would be your problem. <laughs> did, I, did I mention something with reindeer? <laughs> or do the Mo Moogle, moguls look like a reindeer to you? I think, I think now I'm just waiting, right? Yeah, I'm just waiting now. I think I've, I blocked all these guys. Okay, here's another one. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. Let's kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Luma says, do you want a pro tip or should I uh, stay spoiler free? Uh, spoiler free, but if I ask for help, feel free to, to help. But it's usually something where I like to ask for help. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you asking, Loomis, rather than just assuming to backseat drive. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. So, you asking that, though, makes me worried that I'm not doing the right thing. But we'll, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Comes the guy who dies in the tutorial missions. <laughs> Here I am. I'll be fine, guys. I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's switch back to the guy that had the thief. I think he's the middle one. Uh, Paulzo. I guess we'll go try to attack the the Emotep guy now. No, no. You're playing this. This is the way you should. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, phew. Okay, cool. Fight! Oh, so, oh, so, so, uh, Paulzo's the guy that can steal. For some reason, I thought it was someone else. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, everyone, okay, Paulzo's not great on the life. So, can I, let's use a tonic on Paulzo. Yeah, tonic, yeah. Oh, it's making, so the double hand is making me confirm what I'm doing. Okay, that, I guess that makes sense. That's weird, the, the green bubbles are making me think I'm being poisoned, not healed, but whatever. Let's see. Uh, Luma says, no, pro tip, pro tip is a little bit of cheese. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. Wait, did you just die? Oh, you're, oh, okay. So when you're about to die, that's what happens. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I guess let's use another tonic on you. There we go. Die, Marshall. Uh, Luma says, of course, he can steal. He's a th treasure hunter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't don't besmirch Paulzo's profession. <laughs> Dale says, I was playing with the concept of werewolves after... Oh. Okay. Thank you. Dale, you know what? I, I know I say it, I've said it before, but I really appreciate your willingness to explain things that I don't get and not get overly frustrated. I mean, maybe you do get frustrated with me. I just can't tell. <laughs> But that I assume you don't get frustrated with me. You're just like, ah, Princess, we didn't get it. Let's spell it out for him. Spell it out for the noob of the chat. Uh, I want. I would imagine reindeer would be pretty good, a pretty good appetizer. So why not let the glowing, let the glowing, the, why not let the glowing one be the first to go? Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Mm, I've never had venison. I would like to try it at some point, but I've never had it. Luma says, Magic Ranger versus Cursed Werewolves would be a fun fight to watch. That would be. I'd, I'd throw some money down to watch that pay-per-view. The glowing, yeah, the glowing one. <laughs> no level ups? That seemed like a, a big fight. I should have leveled up totally. Like 20 levels. Right? Right, guys? Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. This is so hip and jammy. Oh, oh, okay. So I got her away. What is that? I think this will switch. Oh, I think this switch will... Open up a secret entrance. That's amazing. Eh? You back with us now? By the way, I don't think Paul actually talks like this. I'm just... I don't know why I chose this inflection, but whatever. You saved me. Or, Nathan, you want me to do this, right? You saved me. You saved me. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'll just go a little higher. You saved me. Save your thanks for the Mughals. Uh, let's see. Luma says, one day, and that day may never come, the Mughals will call upon you to perform a favor. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, I can't remember anything past or present. You have amnesia? <laughs> that seemed a bit extreme. <laughs> a man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. Huh? Nathan says, See how much less comedic that sounds? No. It sounds way worse. I don't know what you're talking about, Nathan. Yeah, that does sound that does sound a bit better. Well, actually, next time I'm going to try it both ways, and you tell me you tell me which one you think actually works better. Well, uh, I won't leave you until your memory returns. By the way, this secret entrance might be useful someday. Don't forget about it. Foreshadowing of a bookend, possibly. Uh, Dale says. Want to play memory? <laughs> Apparently, that's what it's asking me to do. Okay, now I'm moving. Now I'm moving. This is a classroom for a the beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. I guess I'll go in. Classroom. Class is in session. This is water from... From a recovery spring, it'll restore your HP and MP. Much such springs are located throughout the world. Oh, spring, aka bucket. I mean, it just looks like a bucket. It doesn't really look like a spring, but whatever. This is a classroom for the beginner. Here we answer. Your yeah, okay, you said that before. If you select the weight battle mode from the config menu, you can take all the time you need to select spells or items without being attacked. Oh, okay. Might want to go out and get some experience in the world before coming in here. I thought this was the classroom. Aren't you supposed to teach me things? Do you go in these doors? Oh, you do go in these doors. Okay. Environmental science. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Luma says, ha ha. I think you, you misread that. Oh, did I? It's a bucket that he filled with. Her. Oh, <laughs> no. No, that is the spring, Loomis. He, l let's, l we'll reread. We'll see who's right. This wire, oh, is from a recovery spring. Never story. I guess Loomis was right. <laughs> I mean, I was testing to see if you read it right, Loomis. And you did. Good job. A plus to you. Well done. <laughs> I'm sure no one noticed that. Yeah. Okay, that's a save point. Uh, where are you guys doing? Well, I know how to ride a chocobo. Uh, sure. Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward. Steer with the control pad. All right. Press the B button to dismount. Careful, once you get off, the bird will return to its pen. All right. When buying armor and weapons, you'll see some symbols next to your character. Triangles pointing up indicate increasing battle power. Triangles pointing down indicate decreasing battle power. No way. Equal indicates no change in battle power. E means the equipment is already equipped on the character. A symbol under... I love this, I'm, a, I'm Okay, let's get the treasure. Monster in a box. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently this happens. Uh, actually, let's steal. Let's see what the Lobo has. Ooh, I stole a tonic. <laughs> it's amazing that Lobo is able to carry that around. Dale says, hey, check out the Starman over, the listening, over there listening to Queen. <laughs> or David Bowie, yeah. I guess it would be David Bowie if it's Starman. I think, I imagine he's going to tell me about save points, but you're already, this sort of already told me about save points. This is a save point. Save point. You can use uh, a sleeping bag or tent and also save the game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the first save point I got to went through all that, but I guess we'll save now. Might as well. Let's see. Uh, I don't know how uh, late, how much my kids are going to sleep in. But usually is around the time when they would start waking up, guys. So I may be, I don't know, I'll keep playing pretty much until I start hearing them, I think. Uh, but uh, So be aware that we now are in the time where I may end at any point. 
But uh, thank you. So let me say thank you so much, Loomis and Dale and Nathan James Norman for being here. It's been awesome uh, getting to interact with you. And nice to meet you, Loomis. <clears throat> and we'll keep playing until uh, my kids are up. Uh, let's see. Nathan says, maybe it's a marsupial lobo. And he keeps the tonic in his pouch. Well, yeah, isn't... What's the extinct thing that... What's the... the I think it is on Madagascar. The... the um, the, It was a marsupial canine that went extinct. I thought it was the tiger something. I am I am not remembering. Um, Loomis says, it's been a good stream. I'll try to catch you again. Okay, awesome. Yeah. feel And feel free to stay. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. It's Zen, it's in low. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Itsy. Maybe I'll, if you don't mind, I'll just call you Itsy or it's in low or maybe like N low. If you have a preference as to how I refer to you, feel free to say so in chat. But welcome to the stream. Uh, Imhotep. Eh, who might you be? Uh, no one. I'm not, I'm not anyone. This is the pits. We'd better hightail it southward to Figaro. All right, we'll do that. Like St. Bernard's and their barrel of booze. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the not the bucket before, but the, one of those pipe things that looked like it? Uh, Loomis says, go straight back into the town that you just escaped from. Okay. Narshi. That thing? That steam thing? It, I guess it kind of looks like uh, uh, St. Bernard, uh, the barrel thing. Or one of those things? <clears throat> Ooh, what's over here? Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's the entrance to the cave. That's right. That's where I came from. Canon, uh, Lobo wear a tonic around. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that's Canon. Lobo wear a tonic around the neck. That's what you were saying, Dale. St. Bernard and their barrel boots. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like inspecting and pressing buttons against everything, inspecting things. Can you sneak through now, maybe? No? Eh, who might you be? Uh, no one, but I'd like to... L l I w yeah, okay, you're going to say the same thing. I guess you're not going to let me go into town. I, I feel like I'm strong enough to take these guys out. I mean, really, let's just cut to the chase, chase guys, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Loomis says, no, 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 that wasn't a suggestion. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're saying how comical it would be to just go back into the town you escaped from. I see. I see what you're saying. Uh, Dale says, Cujo and the Alps rescue dogs. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's totally, totally not a Cujo situation. Uh, here, 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 here's this dog. Uh, just uh, take, just take the the liqueur from its barrel. You'll be, you'll be fine. Don't pay no attention to the red eyes. That that and the over excessive drool means nothing. Uh, Loomis says, "I was laughing at you, watching, wondering at you wandering up to the guards who are just hunting you." Out. That's fair, Loomis. Ooh, mode seven graphics map. I love it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. By the way, since I'm singing along with the music, I'd be curious to know, guys, am I in sync with? I actually, you know what? I'd imagine I am in sync because the sound is coming out of the little TV I'm watching, and. It's in real time with my voice, and all both those sounds are going into the mixer. So I'd imagine it is working fine. But <clears throat> 12 XP, 45 GP, hoo hoo. I imagine I'll use that money at some point, but for now I'm not. Let's see. Can I sneak through that little crevice? No, no. All right, fine. Whoa, whoa. Random metals. Let's see. Let's see. What can I steal from the bird? What where what is that thing called? A dark wind? Haha, <laughs> another tonic, man. Man, all these things are mar amazing how many marsupials there are in this game, keeping their tonics in their little pouches. Loomis, your voice is in sync with the game, but your webcam is a second behind both the game and your voice. Uh, thank I uh, thank you. 
Loomis. I so I will fix that right now. Here, here's the thing. I I have to adjust every time I stream. Uh, I have to make an adjustment. I do a little test in the SNES Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini menu. To, I wave my hand as I go back and forth between a game to see if they're in sync. And like, it's weird because it tells me um, I'm I'm behind my videos ahead by a second, so I delay it. And then when I, apparently when I start streaming, it's like, no, no, you're fine before. So let's see if this, now my voice is out of sync with the video, but just hold tight. Okay, hopefully now it's a bit more in sync, like with the video. We'll see. Dale says, Cabbage Patch villains. They, they do like look like Cabbage Patch. Yeah, totally. Lasika gained a level. Woohoo! Oh, learned antidote. Nice. So I guess if I'm poisoned. <clears throat> All right, I guess we'll go down this way. Boom, 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 boom. So I guess we're just exploring. Uh, although I do want to go south to Figueroa. Figaro. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, scorpions. Scorpion knot. What are they called? Aranade? Interesting. I guess if they poison me, I will need an antidote soon. Let's see if they have antidotes. That'd be fun. Uh, just a tonic. Okay. Oh, let's focus. Let's let's focus down on one. There we go. Since these guys. Okay. So, I'm sort. I'm sort of still in the mode of. Uh, it just takes one hit to kill things, and so it's it's new now having to take multiple hits and needing to focus fire focus fire down uh, uh, the baddies. So I have to like rethink how I'm what my strategies are. All the sound is broken down. <laughs> That figures. Like, does it sound all crackly? Game video is behind game sound. Game video is behind the game sound. So the sound you're hearing ahead of ahead of things. Okay. I'm I'm thinking through my head what I need to do. This I don't know if that'll fix it. I'm always I always like when the, the when they shorten antidote to antidote in these old games. Oh yeah, okay. So it it did. They were spe it was spelled without the e. I thought I just missed something, but no. Okay, that makes sense. And let me know if things are any better or more in sync. So antidote is correct by accident, <laughs> because uh, do t is uh, damage over time, and oh dot is damage over time, and do and poison is a dot. Oh, that's interesting. Anti dot. That I never really thought about that, but yeah, that's a fun little coincidence. Bum, 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 bum. All right, guys. Oh, it looks like maybe a city's over here or something. I don't know if this is Figaro. Figaro Castle. Okay, so it is. Cool. And yeah, let me know. I appreciate you being willing to help me. I know it's like, oh, come on, guys. Why I, I came here looking for a pro stream, and your sounds out of sync? What is this? Wait. <clears throat> hey. Who? Oh, it's you. Proceed. Oh, why? Thank you. Yes, it it is me. Go see the king. Are you gonna say the same thing over here? Go see the king. Go see the king. Are you guys twins? Are 
It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example, oops, they're all top secret. Oh, I was, okay, so he did say something different. Uh, Loomis says, I've streamed myself. Trust me, I've had enough tech issues. Yeah. Thank you for understanding, uh, Loomis. I, I do appreciate your, your grace in that. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough thing. What, what do you like to stream, Loomis? And uh, do you do it only occasionally, or is it something you do regularly? <clears throat> Go see the king. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, let's see. I shall be the queen. Bah ha ha. Except I can't turn around to face my subjects. You mean this young woman? Hey, hey, eyes up here. <coughs> <laughs> Who do you think? So here's my fa falsetto. Who do you think you are? And here's my highly up-pitched. Who do you think you are? Okay, Nathan, I guess the, the latter does sound a bit less comical. Fine, you got me. Uh, let's see. Dale says, I guess you won't be invited to join NSYNC. <laughs> oh, uh, nice. Anytime soon. But you're good with us. Okay. Thank you, Dale. Luma says, I've got a regular stream, but on a different account. Oh, okay. Uh, Tuesdays, I do Pokemon Challenge Runs. Uh, Wednesday is Retro Night, and I've just started playing Slay the Spire on Thursdays. Oh, okay, cool. What? Let's know what your other stream name is, uh, Loomis, so we can check you out. Also, I got some friends together, and we're doing a, a, we're going to start a team stream on Fridays. Oh, cool! <clears throat> playing. Um, what are you going to be playing on Fridays for your stream team? Who do you think you are? Uh, Nathan laughs at me. Dale says, "I guess you won't be streaming Monday night due to Christmas." So, actually. I'm, I'm wondering if I heard one of my kiddos. Oh, yeah. One of my kiddos is up. <coughs> so I'll answer that, and then we're going to end it. Can you come up? Oh. <laughs> so both my kids are up. Try to be quiet, guys. Okay? I'm, gonna, I'm finishing my stream. Um, so I do plan on streaming uh, Christmas Eve after I get back from my church service and the kids go to sleep. Um, but... Uh, I know it's bright, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I do actually plan on doing a Christmas Eve stream. So if you want to check that out, I uh, would love to have you come over Christmas Eve night. Uh, it'll be uh, evening Pacific time. So I don't know if you'll be able to do it, Loomis, since you're uh, in the UK. You guys are waiting. Okay, okay. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, Luma says, uh, falling at stream, streaming. Oh, failing at streaming is my other account. Thanks for asking. I didn't want to. No, I appreciate that. See, since I didn't feel like you were self-promoting at all, if I ask you, feel free to say. So thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Good day, Francisco. Yeah, thank you, guys. Merry Christmas to you. Let me do a little shout out here. So, I haven't checked them out, so I don't endorse <coughs> this necessarily, but we'll go ahead and give uh, failing at streaming. I'm going to go check uh, out your other channel here, uh, Loomis, but thanks for being here, Loomis. Thanks for being here, Nathan. Thank you for being here, Dale. And hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Hope to see you on um, Christmas Eve if you can make it. And thanks for being here. I guess I have to go to the world map and get a save point. So I'll play here a little bit offline. But I'm going to end the stream. Have a good one. And bye. Bye. Why are you turn the light off? <laughs>